Hello everybody and welcome back to a brand new video. Now today I wanted to have a look at the plugin hub for RuneLite which contains a bunch of different plugins that I've never heard of and never used before. Now to get these plugins you used to have to install them manually yourself but as of the last couple of months you're actually able to easily install them right in the RuneLite client. Now the plugin hub has been verified to not be breaking any of Jagex's third party client rules and they're not malicious in any way. However, they are developed by community members, which means they're not going to be tested as well and vetted as much as the default plugins. With that said though, there are some absolutely amazing plugins on here and one that is really close to my heart, which is actually probably the best RuneLite plugin I've ever seen. And that one is called the Flipping Utilities plugin. So we're going to go over that as well as a bunch of other plugins that I personally like from the plugin hub. And I'll show you how great they can be. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed the video and let's get started. Now first up here, we're talking about the third party client, RuneLite. If you don't already have it, you will have to go download it. I will leave a link in the description. Now when you install RuneLite, it's going to come with a bunch of default plugins on the right here. You can modify them. Some of them aren't turned on by default, but they'll come with the client. However, the plugin hub is something else. If you scroll all the way down to the bottom, there's a button here called Plugin Hub, and when you click on it, it's going to give you some extra plugins that aren't even installed on the client by default. Now to install them, it's very simple. You just have to hit the install button. Sometimes you'll have to restart your client to get it fully working. In this case, we can see we installed the calculator, which actually doesn't come with RuneLite by default. Now if you want to go ahead and uninstall something, you just have to hit the remove button. And there we go, it's gone. Okay, so the first plugin I really want to talk about here is Flipping Utilities, which I've already gone ahead and installed. Now this plugin is actually amazing. Now what it does is it tracks buy and sell offers through RuneLite automatically. You don't have to input any information. And when you come over here to this tab, it's going to keep track of what your flips are, how much money you've made through it, and other really important information. Okay, so let's just go ahead and check a random item here. Let's do the Arim's robe skirt. Don't need to pay attention here. We can just instantly go ahead and buy it, instantly go ahead and sell it. Now the plugin is automatically going to record what the buy price was, it record what the sell price was. It'll tell us the profit here of 11.9 thousand our potential profit based on the GE limit, and also our return on investment. Now this allows us to very quickly compare two different items. For example, we just price checked the Law Rune and the Death Rune. We can see that the Law Rune has a margin of 4 GP, has a return on investment of 2.15%, and a current GE limit of 11,999, compared to the Death Rune, which has an ROI of 1.4, and just overall slightly worse. Now this makes it really easy to compare different items, even color coordinates the ROI based on how good it is. If uh, you come over here to the statistics section, it will also give you a total breakdown of all of your recent flips. Now most of these are from dead man mode, but if we come over here, we can look at the most total profit. It's tracked 57 Arim's hoods over the last couple of days, with my average return on investment being 27% and the average profit being 35.2k per Arim's hood. We have the Vesta Spear down here, which does 15. Uncut Sapphire, Morgan's Javelins. Like, it's really accurate at keeping track of things. Now, this plugin also has a couple other really awesome features. If you come over here into the configuration settings, at first appear, we can enable multi account tracking, which means if you have multiple accounts that you are flipping on or you don't want it to get distorted by your main account just buying and selling things, you can enable the multi account tracking feature. You can also change the ROI gradient range to make it so that if you are getting generally higher ROIs than 2%, you can make it higher just to reflect that. One other thing that is on by default is to account for the margin check loss in your total profits, which is really awesome because I know that's something a lot of people forget about when they're trying to calculate their profit. So this plugin is awesome. I could not recommend it enough. There's so many useful features and ways that this could be expanded upon, and I'm really excited to see where the developers go with it, but it definitely has my approval rating at this point. Okay, so moving on to other plugins here, the next one is something that I personally use a lot and it was a pain to keep it up to date because whenever RuneLite updated, I'd have to manually go compile a new version of RuneLite, but now I don't have to do that and that is the detached camera plugin. We can just hit install here quickly. Now this plugin is awesome for anyone looking to get cinematic shots. I'm sure you've seen it before, but I thought I would highlight it now that it's back in the plugin hub. But uh, when you turn on the detached mode, you can kind of just zoom around as if you had the orb of Oculus. So you have access to kind of a free cam wherever you are. Things still move, but you can't move yourself. You can do a slow-mo pan for those looking for those epic cinematic moments. Uh, you can go up slowly as well. Maybe do one of these. But honestly, it's just a lot of fun, even if you're not a content creator. You just get to see parts of RuneScape before that you wouldn't normally be able to see. Within the same kind of content creator vein, another one that's really useful not for anyone, but especially those who are making RuneScape videos, 
is the green screen plugin. If we go ahead and install it, it's very useful for those who are trying to make, well, I don't know, thumbnails or who wants to put in some extra special effects in the background. It won't make your character by default green. And you can also make it any color really if you wanted. It's pretty interesting though, and I actually have gotten some use out of this. So within the RuneLight plugin hub, there are a few plugins that actually help create a new game mode. And the major one here is Bronze Man Mode. Essentially what it does is it limits the Grand Exchange until you've gotten the item some other way. Now I haven't actually tried installing this yet, I'm not sure what exactly it's going to do to my Grand Exchange interface. <laughs> so at the top here we can see we unlocked an item just because we had it in our inventory. So because I already had all these items in my bank, it's automatically unlocking all of these things. But for example, if we look at the armadillo helmet here, everything is grayed out and you can't actually click on it until you've obtained the item the normal way. So either getting it as a drop. Uh, oh, we actually have the armadillo helmet in our bank, so we can actually buy that. I think the idea was initially inspired by Goody, who was Mod Ronin, who used to be a moderator at Jagex. It looks like we may be unlocking items for quite a while. I mean, it does work really well, though it automatically recognized all of the items in my bank and which ones are tradable and which ones aren't. You may also notice at the bottom here we have an Iron Man symbol beside us which is to indicate Bronze Man mode. And there's also a Hardcore Bronze Man mode which I don't know how that works exactly. It's so creative and awesome. And I know some people are going to take advantage of it. Now within the same vein of the Restricted Iron Man account plugins, there's another one here and that one is... where is it? Okay, and that is the Region Locker plugin. Another really creative, awesome plugin for those who are looking to have extra restrictions on their account. Let's go ahead and install that one as well. So if we come over here to our minimap, we can see all of the different chunks and they're all kind of grayed out by default. And you can mark some of them unlocked as you go. This one doesn't physically restrict anything. It's more of just a visual game mode, but still really, really cool. Okay, another really cool one I just saw here is the skills progress bar. By turning it on, it'll show you actually a visual indicator of how close you are to a certain level just on your skill bar. Personally, I think it's a little too cluttered, but I think it'd be a nice toggle feature. I think it definitely looks better transparent. Personally, a little too cluttered, but I think it could be handy. Okay, another one is the Zolra plugin. Now keep in mind, this is not anything like what the Zolra plugin used to be in RuneLight. It's very simple. It's just a extra tab here that you can go to and it's gonna show you the rotations for Zolra. For those who are learning, it's pretty nice just to have it in the side there instead of having to look up a third party website. It's just a lot more convenient. For example, if you start with the green phase here, you can click here and it's going to show you every single rotation, including the Jad phase, and once you get to the bottom, you can just hit the reset button and go on for another kill. Okay, another one of my favorites is the Inventory Setup plugin, which I just went ahead and installed. Now, once you've done that, you can come over here to the tab here and go to Inventory Setups. So I went ahead and withdrawed an inventory to go ahead and maybe kill some demonic gorillas. Now, if I want to quickly save that for later, we'll go ahead and hit the plus button and go demonic gorillas. And it's going to automatically save our inventory and equipment setup. So if we go over here to our view setup, it's going to show you our inventory and our current equipment. Now, once you've gone ahead and made the setup, you can go over here to the view setup button. And if you have your bank open, watch this guys. Boom. All of the items are right here. I can't believe it. It's such an amazing plugin. Now we just go ahead and click on every single item. Now, another option here is you can enable highlighting and that will highlight items that you don't have in your inventory currently. So as we withdraw them, it's going to knock off the red, which is just a nice visual indicator of what you still need to get. I would go down here and go and equip everything. The red will start going away. Okay, we're actually missing our Barrow's Gloves here, we see. Perfect, our equipment's done. Six Super Restores, a Divine and Super Ranging, and then the rest, Manta Rays. Honestly, probably one of the most useful plugins on here. I'm going to go ahead and start making equipment pages for everything. Highly recommended. Okay, another really awesome plugin that helps keep track of your supplies is, well, the supply tracker. When you go ahead and install it, once again, you're going to get another tab bar over here. First up here, we have to go turn it on, and then we're going to get a potion icon on the side here. Now, essentially what it will do is it will keep track of any supplies that you use, including darts, uh, charges of trident, stuff like that. So we'll come over here, uh, we'll close the info tab here. For example, if we go ahead and eat an anglerfish, boom, I logged over here exactly how much we used. Eat a super restore. It's going to track that as well. Uh, even using a charge on a ring of dueling gets logged here. If we uh, break a teleport tablet, it's going to log that here as well. Uh, we can chug our super divine and super combat potion. Going to log it in the potion section here. And if we go ahead and start attacking things with our blowpipe, it's going to show you exactly how many Zolra scales we use, as well as how many of the darts end up on the ground unrecoverable. Now this in combination with the loot tracker makes it so you can get a 100% accurate picture of how much money you use in supplies, because I feel like often this gets underreported because it's very hard to keep track of. So in total already we've used about 17,000 GP in supplies, which is just really useful information. 
Now there are a ton of other plugins here I didn't cover, some of them are probably as useful, but there's only so much I can cover in one video. Let me know of your favorite plugins in the plugin hub, I am always keen to know more. Thanks for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.